I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. Hard to believe. My grandfather was a lawman. Father, too. Me and him were sheriffs at the same time, him up in Plano and me out here. I think he's pretty proud of that. I know I was. Some of the old-time sheriffs never read more a gun. A lot of folks find that hard to believe. Jim Scarborough never carried one. That's the younger Jim. Gaston Borkins wouldn't wear one up in Comanche County. I always like to hear about the old-timers. Never missed a chance to do so. You can't help but compare yourself against the old-timers. Can't help but wonder how they'd operated these times. There's this boy I sent to the electric chair at Huntsville here a while back. My arrest and my testimony. He killed a 14-year-old girl. Papers said it was a crime of passion, but he told me there wasn't any passion to it. Told me that he'd been planning to kill somebody for about as long as he could remember. Said if they turned him out, he'd do it again. Said he knew he was going to hell. Be there in about 15 minutes. I don't know what to make of that. I surely don't. The crime you see now, it's hard to even take its measure. It's not that I'm afraid of it. I always knew you had to be willing to die to even do this job. But I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. Put his soul at hazard. He'd have to say, okay. I'll be part of this world. Yes, sir. I just walked in the door. Sheriff, he had some sort of thing on him, like a oxygen tank for emphysema or something, and a hose that run down his sleeve. Oxygen? What the hell's that? You got me. Well, you can look at it when you get in. <laughs> yes, sir. I got it under control. What's this about? Step out of that car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of that car, sir. What is that for? You. Will you hold still? <laughs> 